Hello everyone, welcome back to the third episode of A Fagato with Ananya and today we are going to talk about respiratory medicine in Agartala Government Medical College and today we have, please introduce yourself. Myself Dr. Vaibhav Jagwale and I am pursuing my MD as first year in respiratory medicine at AGMC. Okay. So from where you did your MBBS? I did my UG from SMBT Medical College Nasik, Nasik. Maharashtra. Okay, alright. So tell me how has been your journey so far? Uh, there have been some ups and downs at the beginning uh, first uh, first four, uh, two to three months went adapting to the new culture new uh, environment and food okay. <laughs> which i have, uh, which I have uh-huh. came across in uh, agartala so baba tum batao ki tumhare department mein kitne seats hain total actually i'm there at present uh-huh. there have been increased to four seats Okay. But earlier at my time, there mm-hmm. used to be only two seats. Two seats, okay. Yeah. So how, like, abhi, kaise distributed hai? Ek all India quota? Two, two, mm-hmm. two all India quota and two mm-hmm. from the seat. Okay, okay. So this time it has been like that. Yeah. Okay, so how many faculties are there in your department? There are around five SRs. Mm-hmm. One associate professor, one assistant professor and two professors. Okay, okay. That is the overall structure and three units are there. Three units are yeah. there. Okay, so how many beds are there in your entire department? That will be around, I think, 75 to 80 beds. 75 to. So, Vavav, tell me about how is your daily routine like a respiratory medicine resident? Actually, I'm being, I'm in second unit too. So, we have OPDs on Tuesday and Friday, ma'am. So, on those days, we, we have, our OPD starts at 9 o'clock. Then we, like, we have to take our, uh, like, we have to do our rounds also. So, in between the OPD timing, we do rounds. Then we do the workup also. And at that meantime, someone is uh, someone looks after the OPD also. Uh-huh. So, after finishing our work ward workup, we mostly go to the OPDs and see the cases there. Uh-huh. And after four thirty pm, as a as a as per our duty rosters, we continue with our duty. Or if we are having no, we are not if we are not having any duty that day, uh-huh. that's that's then it's an off day for us. Uh, usually, at what time you get free, ma'am? Actually, we have shift-wise duties, ma'am. Okay. So there is morning shift, evening shift, and night. Mm-hmm. In the morning, everyone has to come since they have to do their wa- rounds, rounds, and then ward workup. Mm-hmm. So morning is there for everyone, but then there are evening duties and night duties. Mm-hmm. Mm, evening duty starts at two thirty, and it's up to nine pm. Mm-hmm. And night duty starts at nine to up mm-hmm. to morning eight thirty. Okay. But still, we have to stay there <laughs> since we have to do rounds and then work up. Okay. Round worker. Me that in OPD days, how many patients average you come across? Yeah, daily, ma'am, around thirty to forty patients is um, average. I think it would okay. be average around thirty to forty. Okay, patients. so what kind of cases you come across in respiratory medicine? Like, if a junior wants to know ki boss, what, mujhe kaun kaun se cases dekhne ko milenge, to kya kya cases milta? The majority of them are from mostly of them are for COPD and asthma. Mm-hmm. And some of them are cancer, cancer, cancer patients, okay. then ILD cases, okay. some are pleural effusions, mm-hmm. some rare, rare cases are also okay, there. Okay, okay. Any rare case you have come across? Uh, there was pancreatic pleural fistula was there. Okay. And that, okay. Uh, because of that, there was okay. effusion in the patient. And okay. initially we thought like whether it could be of any pathology related to chest or other thing. But later we came to know that it was due to pancre- pancreatic pleural fistula. Which was diagnosed after you know, doing MRCP. Once we came across a patient, ma'am, uh, he was uh, first diagnosed as ILD case uh-huh. by looking at his, uh, his CT scan. Ma'am, he was di- discharged with all the medications for ILD and all that. Uh-huh. And after two months, ma'am, the patient came back. And again, ma'am, when we saw his CT, it was completely resolved, ma'am. There were no opacities, no GGOs, nothing. Okay. And that is that doesn't happen with ILD cases. Mm-hmm. ILD is like uh, per- permanent fibrosis, mm-hmm. and that is not going to resolve any time in um, all 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 mm-hmm. in his life. Mm-hmm. But in that case, the uh, patient has complete resolution of all that GGOs and the, the opacities. Mm-hmm. So we later came to know that it was actually a case of CCF, ma'am, congestive oh, cardiac okay, failure, okay, ma'am. Okay, okay. Yeah, like uh, then I came to know. Like that, key. Mm-hmm. in CCF also, it can present like ILD. It can mm-hmm. present the CT presentation can be mm-hmm. like ILD. That's quite an interesting case. Yeah. Okay. Next question I would like to ask you is that what are the technologies and the new, um, you know, laboratory worker which are available in our department, or is there anything deficient in our department? Actually, at present we do bronchoscopy at our hospital, mm-hmm. um, or the minor procedures we do and minor OTs. 
and the major plus point will be that ki we are planning to bring mam thoracoscopy ebus and all the newer technologies in our hospitals in the coming months we will be seeing that technology at our hospitals also regarding tuberculosis matlab what tumne basically kya notice kiya ki tripura mein kaisa matlab prevalence hai tuberculosis ka with respect to other parts of the country is it more or is it less tuberculosis at such is mm-hmm. is generally overall same uh, in same all over scenario. india yeah so why respiratory medicine na uh, actually i wanted to do my uh, pursue my career in medicine and then <laughs> by god's grace i have to do respiratory medicine because uh, that was the only option available to me in okay, this field okay. so the next question i would like to ask that how is the rapport with your teachers and seniors is there any toxicity in your department no actually that is the most matlab this is the positive point of my department there is zero toxicity at all no toxicity no toxicity that's really good to know so one thing is assured ki agmc ke respiratory medicine mein koi bhi toxicity nahi hai so be khush how is the pg activity in your department like case presentations journal clubs and etc seminars yeah all that happens on tuesday mostly on the tuesdays and we are like uh, there is roster and roster wise we have to uh, do it like one week prior we know ki we have to present this okay. case this seminar we have to present this okay. seminar or the case presentation will be there Okay. like that like happens that. on okay okay so oh, do you get opportunity to go outside the state for conferences or workshops have you attended one till now till now to ma'am i haven't attended any mm-hmm. but okay. <laughs> maybe in future so, since i am first year only at okay. present what do you do in your free time ma'am in the free time mostly we we, are, we have to prepare our ppts and seminars we have to prepare for seminars but okay. if we get some mm-hmm. extra time on that mm-hmm. i would prefer like I prefer uh, playing badminton or doing mm-hmm. or playing chess online. Chess online. Watching YouTube videos. Right? So just within few days we are having college week. So hope to see you playing yeah. some games. What advice you would like to give to a junior who wants to know about respiratory medicine as a career option? Respiratory and medicine. Of, and also sorry to interrupt, but what kind of a person should take up respiratory medicine? All those who love medicine, all those who love diagnosing cases, they should. preferably go, go go for respiratory medicine since this branch is like evolving branch and more of more more of cases like respiratory cases are growing in india uh-huh. this is this branch has a very good scope i think and okay. future okay. as the pollution is also growing absolutely aqi mm. definitely not only in delhi but overall all over india it's yeah. the same scenario and lot of respiratory cases have been increasing so there is a much much need of respiratory medicine specialist in our country and glad to know that in agmc the seat has been increased from two seats to four seats so we'll be having more juniors yeah. <laughs> okay so the next question i would like to ask you is so tu marathiya hai so yaha pe tripura mein how you are able to adjust in terms of food and culture any cultural shock you have experienced so tell me about that food wise if we go by food wise if we you are non vegetarian mm-hmm. this is the best place to to be okay? okay but for vegetarians there are limited options here and being a vegetarian you are vegetarian <laughs> yeah oh okay okay that's that was actually difficult to adjust yeah. okay and what about language how much time did you take to learn bengali <laughs> i'm still learning ma'am <laughs> even i'm still learning actually for the people who know hindi <laughs> it's pretty easy hmm. but still some of the words in bengali still i have to manage with uh, with mm-hmm. my friends or my juniors mm-hmm. so i you need to take their help yeah. yeah yeah absolutely so all the outsiders who are from not from uh, you know tripura or those who don't know bengali we always get help from our juniors interns even our seniors as well so there is no kisi bhi help ki kami nahi rahegi so language ko bhi leke koi tension lene ki zarurat nahi hai a lot of people don't take up respiratory medicine or they have this you know they're skeptical about taking respiratory medicine because of uh, con- you know getting exposed to tuberculosis so what you have to talk regarding that na actually tb ka kaise hoga ki ma'am tb is like it depends on your immunity ma'am uh-huh. and being in india uh-huh. everyone is exposed to tb so okay. at such aise darne ki koi baat hi nahi hai uh-huh. लेकिन आपका इम्यूनिटी तब तक अच्छा है तब तो कोई जरूरत ही नहीं है सब डरने की इस चीज को सो द लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू इज दैट व्हाट आर द पोस्ट पीजी करियर ऑप्शंस इन रेस्पिरेटरी मेडिसिन रिगार्डिंग एनी डीएम पोस्ट डिप्लोमा और गोइंग आउटसाइड इंडिया लाइक व्हाट आर द अपॉर्चुनिटीज अवेलेबल आफ्टर डूइंग एमडी वी कैन ऑप्ट फॉर डीएम कार्डियोलॉजी 
dm pulmonology then there is dm critical care also which is also a booming branch then they can offer other branches like dm genetics like okay any particular institute you would like to recommend for those who want to take up respiratory medicine and the best one i have heard about is vallabhbhai patel hospital in delhi ma'am yes that is the most oldest and the most reputed hospital other than that ma'am km hospital KM from my hospital, state only yeah, in maharashtra yeah ma'am then aims are also there ma'am aims mm -hmm. rishikesh aims delhi mm -hmm. thank you ma'am for giving me this opportunity to introduce my respiratory branch to our viewers uh, our branch has, has been an underrated branch but i hope it gets its value what it actually mm -hmm. has thank you for your precious time he is about to go for his gym session but uh, it got it took a lot of time to get his time so the respiratory is quite a hectic branch so you'll be like fulfilled and satisfied and regarding uh, academics and teaching experience the department is really good that i can assure and he has also uh, already described it so if you have any doubts you can comment down below me and him will try to reply back regarding your queries so like share and subscribe <laughs> let's pause for the thumbnail i to intro to my videos as so as you can see let's do it last way we're done chingam kha rahi ho damn it would look so bad on video damn wapas karna padega wapas nahi